Welcome to my home here in rural Sussex, England. This video is all about my dream bedroom suite. I adore it, but there's one thing I hate, which I'll tell you about at the end. Perhaps you'll have a solution. I get so many questions about this room on social media. So today I'd like to show you how I created it from nothing and on a budget. When I bought the house, this wasn't here. This is all part of uh, an extension that I put on. I bought the house very much as a renovation project. It's in a wonderful location, but the house was a bit, eh, it was never gonna work for us. So I would be in the garden now, and where that door is, is where we knocked through. That was originally a window. I had a very clear vision of how I wanted the house to look and feel even before we moved in and I knew one of the things I had to do was to create some height in the property. My husband's six foot four. I'm only little but he is always banging his head on beams so I had to create height. Fortunately the land gently slopes away here so I was able to get that height without having to go the expensive route of digging down. This gave me the opportunity of creating this second level in the main bedroom. I worked with a really talented structural engineer and we came up with a method of hanging the steels from the rafters to create the flooring rather than supporting it from underneath, which would interrupt the flow, the space in the main bedroom below. At this point, I'd just like to say that I wasn't actually planning on putting this wall here all this was supposed to be open. I had a clear vision when I was designing uh, the whole house. I knew exactly what I wanted to do, except in this room, although I knew I wanted the height and I wanted a bathroom, I wanted a dressing area, I wanted a big bedroom, I couldn't decide which side of the room that I wanted it on. So I've got two different lots of drainage here, so that wasn't an issue. I could drop uh, a bathroom on that side or I could drop a bathroom on this side. So my son was away at college in America, in Texas, and he came home one summer holiday when we're in the midst of the bill. He just breezes in and says, oh, it's really simple. Don't put your bathroom up there, put your dressing room up there, put a stud wall there, put your bathroom in there. And he breezed back out. So that's exactly what I did. Just goes to show that sometimes you need a fresh pair of eyes on a problem. The spiral staircase came from eBay. I got my shop blasters to remove all the old paint, colour it up again, and then I had a steel fabricator alter it so it complied with building regulations. Now you can spend a fortune kitting out a dressing room, but I've always got my eye on the budget. So if I can bring something in that is a cost-effective solution at a really competitive price, then that is exactly what I'm going to do. Here I've built storage from tubes, clamps and scaffold boards that I've coloured up. There are two full-length rails on one side of the dressing room and on the other side I've put in different levels of shelving. I really can't stress enough how secure this is. There's no movement on it whatsoever and you can design it however you want to suit your space. This has given me masses of storage even to the point where I can store all the cushions that we use outside in the garden in the summer months. I've put baskets right at the bottom. These were here in the house when we first moved in. I've just whitened them. The chandelier was brought from our last house. I've just added some vintage crystals that I found on some old chandeliers and then hung it with rusting chain from the roof. Aside from the bed, every piece of furniture in this room, in fact, probably in the whole of my house, um, has been bought secondhand, be that through eBay, charity shops, auctions, and then I've revamped them. I'm a great believer in recycling, reusing, um, having a sustainable approach to all the furnishings. And when I get bored with a piece or my choice of colours and finishes change, then I will either sell it on or strip it back or paint over it. Everything gets reused. I've got several paint projects coming up, so if that's the sort of thing that interests you, then please do subscribe and follow along. 
When I first completed the house, I was very much in my grey phase. I've now moved past that. So everything at the moment is getting a bit of a revamp and I'm trying to minimise the amount of grey in the house. The oversized headboard here was made from recycled timber. It was a flat roof that I took off and vaulted. So I kept the timber to one side, knowing that I wanted to create something big with it. All the bedding is from TK Maxx uh, Home Sense. It's my absolute favourite store. I love it because you just never know what you're going to find there. I find this rustic neutral colour palette very calming. It's the whole feel, the whole vibe that I want to get through the home. And I can never have enough throws and blankets. Can anyone? One of my best eBay finds ever is this vintage bathtub. It's a French bateau and it's made of zinc. The vanity dresser here has been with me for years. I've finally given it over to a bathroom so it's been chopped about a bit in order to get the sinks in. And as this is my dream bathroom, I've got two shower heads, so hubby and I can shower together. The bathtub is set in front of French doors and in the summer months they're open wide and I sit in the tub looking out over the land. So did you work out what I hated? Yeah, it was that, the TV. I love sitting in bed and watching it but I don't like looking at it any other point in time. So I need to think about how I'm going to cover it, how to disguise it. If you've got any suggestions, I'd love to hear them. Just drop them in the comments below. So that is the end of the tour. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I've got another couple of videos that I've done previously. So there's a downstairs tour and there's an upstairs tour if you'd like to see more. Otherwise, I will be back here next week with another video and I'd love for you to join me. Take care. Bye-bye now.